Hi, good morning. I'm Chip Bryan. I want to give you a quick overview here in the Quick Start video to the Smart Trend application. Give you a couple suggestions to get started and get trade the trend to success today. Uh, here we see the dashboard interface, which you should see as well when you first log into the application. It's broken up into about six or seven different blocks that uh, perform different functions. I'm going to walk through those real quick to give you an idea of what they can do for you. Uh, first and foremost is the top left welcome block. You can see here T Tracy is our username. Below that we see the company viewer page where we can simply enter any ticker or company name, hit go, and get a quick company overview. Here on this page we can see the company overview for Google, the stock we've selected. We can see an intera interactive stock chart. We can see the trend history for Google and our last trends, how accurate they were, and the percentage return on each trend news for Google in the bottom right corner, and of course a company snapshot and quick company description. Jumping back to the dashboard, below that we have the My Smart Trends watch list. And you'll note right now that there are no trends or stocks being followed in this portfolio. It's important to get started that you click this Start Trend Alerts Now button uh, to get your portfolio moving. We'll talk about that in one moment. Below that we have a news section with the market surveillance, market commentary, and the various content types covering stocks that you may own, and of course below there a headline section for quick snap to news and information. Moving to the top right of the dashboard we have the Smart Trend Ratio Summary, which gives us a five-day historical look back at the uptrends to downtrends ratio, which helps you as investors get a gauge of whether the market is bullish or bearish and what that trend currently is. Below that, you see the stocks trending now, or the most uh, recent stock trends uh, sorted by up or down, depending on which tab you click. Below that, again, a quick company snapshot. You enter a symbol or company name here, and you get the quick trend direction, also percentage change, and some other relevant information. On the very top of the dashboard, we'll see four navigation buttons and one configuration button. We're on the dashboard currently. The Find Smart Trends tab allows you to search for companies and add those to your watch list. Again, this is another expanded view of the Find Smart Trends that is on the front dashboard. And as, as you can see here, we have all the new Smart Trends, regardless of direction, uh, displayed here. We can look at today's, yesterday's. I'll go back another day or so, a week or 14 days, to help give you some perspective. This table you can sort based on percentage change since the trend was indicated. You can sort it alphabetically. You can sort it by trend date, looking for any catalyst events. Jumping back to the dashboard, the My Smart Trends watch list tab are the stocks you have put in your watch list, and you can manage those uh, in detail herein. The company overview is the page that will display the current trend for the stock, as well as other relevant fundamental and uh, news information. Lastly, the configuration tab, which is the settings tab, allows you to change things like your username and password, Getting started here quickly, I'm going to click on the Start Trend Alerts Now tab, which is going to bring us to a secondary page. This page helps you jumpstart your watch list. Remember, it's important to have a significant number of stocks that you are monitoring in order to receive alerts in real time. We're going to scroll down to the My Smart Trend Alpha, and we're going to click on this portfolio to see what constituents make it up. And in this case, we can see we'll drop down and show all entries. You can see there are 33 items in this portfolio, ranging from NASDAQ to New York Stock Exchange, with some names that you know, Apple, uh, Cummins, Humana, etc. If you determine that this was an attractive group of stocks that you were interested in investing in or trading the trend for, you would simply click Add All to Watch List. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Here you can see the portfolio that you've added to your watch list. We're on the My Smart Trends watch list tab now, and this is effectively your portfolio within the system. If we click on the My Uptrends tab, it's going to show us just uptrends that are in our portfolio sorted by percentage change since the trend was indicated. Here on the top, we can see that NVIDIA has generated 72%. All the way on the bottom, we can see that we have AMT, which is just slightly negative now, but it's still young. It's only a three-day trend. The various columns, you can see the trend date when the trend was issued, the price at which the trend was issued, and the current last price where we're calculating the percentage change. There's a trend news tab, and of course, if you hit the single remove button, it will remove the single stock from your portfolio, or you can select radio buttons on the left-hand side, select multiple stocks, and delete them that way as well. That's a quick overview of the product. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us, contact us via email. We look forward to your inquiry and look forward to helping you trade the trend to success today.